And welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. It is another week of Coach's Corner with Dan Yeagley for the South Range Raiders, brought to you exclusively by Joe Dickey Electric. Coach, this is a, a week that we start off unlike any other because you were significantly tested with your team last Friday against a very good Struthers team. I know what I saw. I saw six turnovers, and you guys still walked away with a victory. What did you see on the sidelines? Uh, you know what? We uh... – it happened before the sidelines and uh, we can talk about that a little bit, just a, um, you know, sometimes as a coach, you, you take things for granted. And I took some things for granted and uh, uh, didn't instruct my uh, players correctly and didn't uh, get them uh, understanding the difference between uh, South range football and everything else. And, you know, we, you know, we, we've been, you know, struggling a little bit with uh, different leadership, different uh, leadership for me, leadership from the kids. Uh, like I said, not understanding the Raider way and understanding what South Range football is all about. And, you know, we had a nice talk. You know, we went against a very good Struthers team. You know, Coach Beck is an awesome coach, and uh, he, he's building a program and doing it the right way. Uh, and hats off to him because, he, like I said, he's an awesome young man. He has surrounded himself with some great coaches and, you know, they were very good and, and they made us pay for our mistakes. And we, um, you know, their, their athleticism was something that we haven't seen yet. And they made, uh, they were there where normal people weren't there. They were in places where normal people weren't, weren't and uh, caught us off guard a little bit. And guess what? You know, uh, we made some turnovers, but luckily our, our defense stepped up and played a great game. And, you know, we're going to, we're going to improve. You know, we, uh, we had a nice long talk on uh, Friday night and Saturday and uh, again on Monday. And the kids are a little bit more focused right now and they're going in the right direction. And uh, I'm excited about this Friday night going against Poland and, uh, you know, seeing the product of what happened this week and uh, what we've done here this week to, to make ourselves better. We'll get to Poland just a little bit. But one of the things I wanted to talk about you from from my perspective in the booth offense obviously struggling with turnover. It seemed like it was just a snowball that started and just kept getting bigger and bigger downhill. But the defense, you said they were they were very, very good. They were bend but not break, which is typically the South Range way. Mm -hmm. um, but there was some concern on third downs. When, when you're giving up a third and 32, that had to be frustrating from the standpoint of, of a guy that's defensive-minded like yourself and Coach Rock, obviously. Um, when you're talking defense, just X's and O's from that perspective, what kind of things can you do in practice to correct those third down situations? Well, we did. Uh, we had a situational period this week, <laughs> a third down situational period. We did third and short, third and long, and third and extra long, uh, just because we had to. I mean, that that was a concern. Uh, some of it is do the kids understand the urgency of that down? Do the, the kids understand uh, how important it is to get the ball back uh, in those situations? And and some of that, I'm still going to go back to Struthers and, and being how athletic they are and how good they are. You know, he's playing two quarterbacks, and, and we knew when uh, the one quarterback was coming in, he was going to go along to one of their very good receivers. And, uh, you know, the ball was placed perfectly on a couple of those passes, and uh, the receivers made great catches. And, you know, we could have maybe defended it a little bit better, but our kids weren't out of position. Uh, we just didn't make the play. Um even on a couple jump balls, you know, we had two on one and didn't, didn't get a jump ball out of the, that. And like I said, some of that's athleticism. Some of that is, okay, we went back and showed them different ways to defend some of those things. And, you know, Coach Rock's a great coach. You know, uh, my whole defensive staff is a great staff. And, you know, we, we worked on those situations. And those are things that we have to improve on and get better at. And uh, like I said, I think our, our front defensive line and linebackers play pretty well. But and then again, you know, we, we could get a little bit more pressure on him and make him throw the ball a little bit sooner instead of sitting in the pocket so long. So we worked on that this week also. You know, those are, if, if you know, guess what? Adversity shows, you know, where you're lacking sometimes. And uh, those are a couple of points of emphasis that we had to improve on. And we crunched some numbers this weekend, Coach Rock did. And, uh, you know, we, we found some things that, uh, you know, we need to improve on, even compared to last year. A lot of these kids play last year. So, um 
we threw some numbers at them. We un they understand and uh, they understand the direction we want to go or that we should be heading in to be where we want to be. And then flipping over to the offensive side of the ball, you know, as the game progressed and, and the turnovers were happening, what I thought was very impressive from not only you and your staff, but the players was you never got kind of away from your game plan. You, you maybe simplified it a little bit, but you still had all the, the confidence in the world and Billy Skirpak and, and, and run, the kids running the routes and doing what they were supposed to do. Is it, it it's weird because you and I both talk offline all the time about being guys that are so troubled in, in giving stuff to do because we feel like we can do it. No, yeah. um, <laughs> in delegation, right? Is mm -hmm. it is it tough to to kind of continue to to toss it out that way uh, when when things aren't going their way? Is is there is there a, a lesson to be taught there to a quarterback that's not having his best night? Well, you know, you still got to lift them up. You know, they're they're 16, 17, 18 year old kids. I mean, we're not talking about professional athletes. We're not talking about uh, college athletes. You know, 21, 22 year old young men. Uh, these kids, you know, sometimes things happen. And my goodness, we know uh, things happen in life too. And you got to learn from it and you, you can't panic. Um, they're hard on themselves. They really are because they want to win. They want to do good for the guy next to them. Uh, they want to perform to their up, le utmost level all the time. And, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. And uh, luckily, like we talked about, it, it's, you know, Coach Dressel told me a long time ago, it's better to learn from a win than it is a loss. And, you know, we had a lot to learn and, you know, Billy's going to get better. Billy's a great quarterback. We all know that. And, uh, you know, like I said, some of that wasn't all him. Some of that was the the defense and Struthers. And, uh, you know, we're going to get better. We're going to continue to improve and uh, we're going to pick up and, uh, and get better from that game. And, I, I, like I said, the kids are great, and you know we can't waver from a game plan. You know, Coach Allegretto, you know, was talking to him often. You know, the nice thing is Billy doesn't play defense, so he was on the you know on the sideline, and uh, him and Coach Allegretto were talking constantly through the game. Uh, little thing, what to look for, what what we're seeing, what he, he's seeing, and uh, continue to improve. Like I said, I'm, I'm blessed with great assistant coaches. And they see a lot. They have a lot of experience and understand that, guess what? It's not a, a panic situation. We just have to continue to improve and continue to teach and guide these young men uh, in the right direction. And uh, like I said, I'm blessed over and over again. <laughs> and uh, understand not to step my boundaries, let them coach, because that's, uh, uh, that's what they're great at. I thought what was really impressive that maybe most people didn't see because of the way that the camera was angled was, there were a couple moments where there were coaches and players wrapping their arms around 17 and, and kind of selling them, hey, it's going to be okay, we got you. And, and one of them was a, a defender because Billy plays one way. He's a quarterback, and, and obviously there's a lot of teams that do that. Quarterback isn't going to necessarily play defense. Mm -hmm. But when you see a defender wrap his, you know, their arm and, and, and kind of pat him on the shoulder pads and say, we got you, that's something that most people don't see. I, I mean, this team, and people are going to obviously, from, from your standpoint, they're going to start trying to chop it up a little bit. And, and anytime there's a bad drive or a bad situation, it's going to get a little bit more uh, magnitude, if you will, because people are going to, you know, dice it and, and, uh, and, and break it down. Is it good to see you, you know, turn around? And you were actually one of them, I think, yeah, that you, you kind of gave them a little pat and said, hey, you know, we got you. We'll take care of it. Just keep being yourself. Uh, or at least that's what I, I, I guess you said. <laughs> um, Almost <but> exactly. <laughs> is, is it nice to see – coaches and players pick up other players because it doesn't always happen when things are, 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 they're not having their best showing, but you know, it's in there. Yeah. You know, like we said before, they're high school kids and uh, this is a, this is a very close knit group. It's a, it's a great team and they understand and they're always fighting for each other. And, you know, we all have that bad days, you know, things happen and guess what? We're going to continue battle and we're going to continue fighting and we're going to continue doing what's best for, uh, the group and the team, and uh, they do have each other's back. I mean, they they really do, and they understand, and uh, it is good to see. It, it's great seeing the team pull together. Um, you know, it, it's great seeing the coaches coach and, and not scream and yell and not uh, start pointing fingers at, at blame or anything like that because guess what? What happened, happened. We can't change that. All we can do is uh, try to correct it and keep on going and uh, get better and uh, – 
try to change the situation, lift, you know, like I said, lift the uh, offense up defensively, lift the offense up and, and vice versa. We knew things were going to happen. You know, you, you look at those uh, three of those turnovers, two of them, two picks were in the end zone and uh, uh, one of them was on the one yard line. So yeah. right there's a 21 point swing very easily. And I, uh, you know, it just, you know, we never felt like we were out of control, even though we had six turnovers, which sounds crazy, but we just, we knew that uh, we had to keep on playing and, and get a little bit more focused and uh, start understanding, guess what? We got to do what the coaches say. We got to get make sure everybody's in the right spot at the right time and uh, continue to improve. All right, this one's for me because you guys debuted some black jerseys on Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite my favorite South Range jerseys were, were lost in the mail somewhere. Uh, they the, are. The, the ones... <laughs> they're still out there somewhere. Somebody's wearing them. <laughs> there, there's some kids in Tasmania that are, are wearing South Range uniforms. I hope so. I really do. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> so my, my question, as, as someone – who is is always kind of reluctant to change, especially when it's drastic, like those new jerseys. I know the kids uh, fundraised for them, but as a guy that is is very very uh, superstitious, will we see those black jerseys ever again, or did they end up in Tasmania? Uh, they're they're uh, somewhere in a box somewhere. <laughs> uh, uh, the, you know what the. Um, the kids did a, a great job raising those money. We ran a youth camp. They ran a youth camp, uh, you know, bringing in young South Range players, uh, all ages, and uh, charged them for it. And all the proceeds went to the jerseys. And, uh, it, you know, it was it was something they wanted to do. And, you know, I, I just – it was for the good of the team and the good of the program, having that youth camp. And, you know, you, you never know. I mean, if we would have came out and, uh, you know, one by 30, nobody would have said anything about them, but I, uh, it, it just, it, it was nice. It was, it was a great thing. And, you know, I, I'll, I'll always give the kids a little bit of leeway because it is their, they're, they're the ones that are going to be known for this season. You know, they're going to be known for uh, whatever happens. We talk about that often. It's the seniors. This is their year. And, you know, it's something they want to do and they did it. And, uh, you know, they got okay. They went through the right channels. They did, they did everything because they have to go through the AD and the principal and everything else. And, um, you know, and we did it and it, it was, it was, uh, nice, I guess <laughs> they, they look nice. They got their names on them. They're, they're a keepsake. Yeah, sure. We're going to have them forever. Uh, I'm happy for them. And, uh, but you know, this week you'll see us in burgundy, <laughs> burgundy jerseys, burgundy and burgundy for sure. So, uh, yeah, but it, I mean, like I said, the 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 big part about the black jerseys was what they did to get those black jerseys is try to make the program better. Awesome. Uh, and uh, I keep my hats off to them because we had all the seniors, we had juniors, sophomores, and even freshmen working with these little kids. And uh, again, building the program, building the uh, rapport with the, the community and those young kids, which is very, very special. Not that I'm in any position <laughs> to give anybody fashion tips. But if you guys wear them again, roll with the gold pants because I think mwah, that'll be it'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. <laughs> you know what? Uh, our JV game the other night, they uh, we had the, we wore the gold pants and uh, they wore their burgundy practice jerseys and that looked really sharp. And they were talking about doing that today, but I think they're uh, doing this this Friday. But they decided to go back to the burgundy burgundy right now, but. We may go with the, the burgundy and the uh, gold pants because those little bit of, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Central Michigan, uh, you know, and, and a couple teams, Arizona, uh, teams like that. And so we, who knows? We may, you know, I leave that up to them. I'm not a uh, fashion consultant by all means. And I let them pick. And, <laughs> you know, heck, Kelly picked out my clothes for 30 years when I was teaching. So <laughs> I did it once and she said not again. So. <laughs> She she told me, uh, and, and I don't want to put you on the spot here, but she told me a little story where I think it was week one, your your shirt, you, you couldn't find your shirt and it was in the dryer? It or... was in the dryer, yes. So <laughs> I had to, you know, put it on steam dryer or whatever it was. I don't know. I was pushing buttons all over the place. So, but no, we're okay. You know, Kelly, like I said, she takes care of me. We all know that. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. I've got no, if, if I need something ironed, I'm toast. I put, I was taught to put, uh, put my shirt with a bunch of ice cubes in the dryer, press the button. That's yeah, as good as you're going to get. 
That's well, why I'm always wrinkled. So you know, now that I'm retired, it's t-shirts. We're okay. So. <laughs> t-shirts and shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk Poland this week. This is a big game for so many different reasons. Obviously, people feel like um, you know South Range is susceptible right now after seeing what they saw on Friday night, as we've already talked about and discussed. Poland's a team that you don't need any reason to get hyped up for. It's a team that you guys have a natural rivalry with. Uh, there's been some big time any eight matchups over the last three or four years. What do you expect coming into Friday's game as Poland comes into Raider uh, Stadium? I, you know, I expect the same thing as happened the last couple of years. I mean, Poland, you know, Coach Pavlansky has done a great job at Poland, and uh, he, he gets his kids ready to play every single week. The, you know, he has uh, multiple two quarterbacks that are both very, very good. He has two running backs that are very good. He's always giving kids breaks, uh, keeping kids fresh. His offensive line is playing very well. His defense is playing well. Uh, you know, they had a big win last week against Hubbard, and, uh, you know, he, he has them rolling right now. Uh, they're they're a very, very good team and very dangerous. You know, last year, it, it came down to the very end of the ball game. You know, we got up on them, but they came back. And, uh, like I said, it was a uh, another barn bird, you know, tight ball game. But, you know, we just got to come out and play South Range football. We got to show that, you know, we had a better week of practice. Things are a little, kids are a little bit more focused. Uh, things are going in the right direction. So uh, we're hoping that comes comes out on uh, on the field Friday night. And because uh, we have to, we got to continue to improve. Um, we got to, uh, the last half of the season, it's week five already, believe it or not. But the last half of the season is um, brutal. We have, you know, one, two, three, four three and one teams and a two and two team left on the uh on the agenda and, and i mean it, it's it, it's it's very good the NEA is a great league it's it's full of great players and great coaches and i've said that multiple times and i, I truly mean it and uh i it, you know it's the second half it's it's buckle up those chin straps and let's get after it because uh any any given night anybody can beat anybody that's it's segue right into my next question because Steve Ruman of the Trib came out with a great article this week and it's something I've never seen before. After four weeks, there's already teams that have clinched a postseason berth and South Range is among them. I mean, how do you keep kids focused knowing that there's guaranteed week 11 already? It's crazy. I and mean, we had uh, the TVs out to the practice yesterday talking about that. And, you know, that's not – what we're worried about. We're not worried about the playoffs right now. Uh, we'll worry about that week 11. You know, I've said it over and over again. I really mean this. Our, our, our schedule is divided into three parts. Our non-league, which uh, we are blessed with, uh, you know, three great teams, Springfield, University School, Canton Central Catholic. Uh, you know, we came through them successfully, and but they prepared us for the league. And then we started league play with Struthers and struggled a little bit, but came away with a big win. And now we're into Poland. It's week five. You know, the first part is non-league. The next part is league. Our ultimate goal is to win the league. I mean, we're really trying to win the league, as everybody in the league is trying to win the league. So we're going to get everybody's best game. You know, that target's big on our back, and we know that. And uh, people are going to come after us. And we just got we got to come out and play hard. And uh, we do good in the league. Guess what? Playoffs are playoffs. You know, we're uh, fortunate. I, I I love the playoffs when there's only eight teams and uh, actually even loved it when there was only four teams. And uh, that shows my age. Sorry. That, that <laughs> my, yeah, <laughs> way back there. But, you know, when we made it, when there was only four teams, you win a game and then you're uh, uh, in the regional finals already. And uh, those that was like quite an honor just to get into the playoffs. Now with 16 teams, more teams are getting in. Uh, it's good, I guess, uh, for everybody, but uh, it, it's tough. I mean, it, it's we're not worried about playoffs right now, and uh, we get, can't focus on that. We got to focus on well, Poland first, obviously, uh, league second, and uh, one game at a time, and we'll take care of these situations before we get into playoffs. But it's crazy that teams are already in, and uh, you know, I, I just I understand mathematically how that works, but I don't. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, as a math guy, that's something that you probably love from that standpoint. But as a coach, you're sitting there like, no, 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 don't, don't, don't come out with that. No, well, it, it, does, it doesn't matter. The, the kids are all smart, too, and they understand. But 
Uh, you know, right now our focus is only on Poland, and it has to be. And you know, next week it's going to be on Gerard, and the next week it's going to be on whoever. I, yeah. We have to stay focused one game at a time. Uh, like I said, our, our schedule's loaded in this second half uh, with all these league games, and we're going to have to come ready to play one game at a time and really focus on them. Right now, Poland. <laughs> Man, you are segueing right into my other questions. It's like oh, we've done this well, a time or two. You sent me the notes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm lucky that I send you five minutes before, hey, can we get this? And, do it? and you're so always so great about that. So you talk about focus, okay? So in today's day and age, there are so many distractions in the mm-hmm. world to take mm-hmm. kids' minds off of what they're supposed to be doing. And, and I get guilty of it sometimes, and I'm sure you're there too, oh, yeah. um, with text messages and, and you know everything that is what it is uh, in, in society today. How do you keep your kids focused? I mean, it, it, there's no training manual, but how do you kind of instruct them and, and kind of keep them focused on the task at hand, which in this week is the Poland Bulldogs? You know, it has to be self-motivated. I mean, they have to understand that they have to do that. Uh, focus is tough, you know, because there is so many. And, you know, I got my phone right here, and it's being blown up right now. With I got coaches texting. I got uh, emails. I got the band director texting me. You know, we got a lot of things going on, and, and that's part of management being in this part. Uh, we've learned that through the years, how to, how to separate everything and stay focused on the task at hand. Kids – it's it's tough. I mean, it really is. I don't know. Um, I'm glad I'm not a kid in today's society. I really am. I mean, with all the all, everything that you have at your disposal, everything that you have in front of you, uh, it's it's hard to be focused. And we uh, we talked about that a lot this week because I think some of our problems last week were uh, lack of focus, lack lack of urgency, lack of um, you know understanding how important each game is. Uh, no matter who you're playing. And so we discussed that, and I, th- I think the kids were a little bit more focused this week. Uh, you do practice situations where they you try to get them focused and uh, try to get them in that situation. But uh, it, it's it's tough. I mean, it, it's, it's hard. And um, like I said, they go, you know, all the time with dealing with uh, this distraction, that distraction. But you know, we, we try and we really work on every week focusing on one game at a time. They know, understand that that's my attitude. It's always one game at a time. Uh, this week is Poland and uh, we know how dangerous they are. And so we're going to focus on them right now and, and prepare and uh, come out Friday night, hopefully focused and uh, ready to play and play a great game against uh, the Poland Bulldogs. All right, Coach, you know what time it is. It's time to step off the field for the South Range Stumper of the Week. Okay. And this one is as broad as broad gets. What are you best at? Oh, my. I don't know if I'm good at anything. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, geez, oh, man. I, I mean, it, it, that, I'm not – I, I, I love what I do. I really do. And uh, being the best at something, you always strive to be the best. And, you know, look at you. Uh, you want to be the, the best at YSN as possible. And I, I know and you are. I mean, you're you, what you've done with that program is unbelievable. And I, I try to be a try to be the uh, best husband I can. I really do. And, uh, you know, I've got a great wife and a great family. I try to be the best uh father that I can to my two boys and grandfather now to my three grandkids. And, you know, I, I try to be the best at those things. And I, I try to be, a, uh, you know, the best servant leader because, you know, I, I know that I have to serve and, uh, you know, try to be a leader at the same time. And I try to be a great football coach and, I, you know, I try and, you know, everybody falters at times and, you know, we work hard at it. And, uh, I understand that hard work is very important at anything that you do, whether it is your family, whether it is uh, your friends, whether it is football, uh, you know, whether it's your faith, you got to work at it, you know. And uh, so, I, you know, I don't know what I guess just uh, trying to be the best is what I'm really trying to do. And am I, am I the best at anything? I don't know. I'm, I just try. And that that's uh, that's what I really try to do is be the best at everything I do, try to give it your best. You know, you tell the kids that too. I'm, I'm rambling on because I'm stumped with this question. Yeah. Um, you know, you always tell the kids, don't do something half. You, you should always do it. Whatever you do, you should always try to do your best at it. 
whether it's writing that English paper, which I'm terrible at, that wouldn't be it. Uh, whether it's doing your homework, whether it's taking a test, whether it's on the football field, never give anything but your best. I mean, that's what uh, I was brought up. My parents brought me up that way. Uh, Kelly continues to, to press that out of me is do the very best at everything you do. Why do something happen? You, you can do it your very best. And uh, so I'm trying. I'm trying at everything I do to do the best I can at everything. So uh, I fall, falter, just like we all have, but uh, I'm trying. I'll tell you. I don't know, DJ, that's a tough one. <laughs> I knew I knew it was going to be a challenge because you're such a humble human being, a humble man. And I, you know, anytime I try to shine light on you, you immediately turn it to somebody else, which is why we love you, Coach. Uh, uh, thank I you. I love you guys. My goodness. Thank you. What so you much. do for what you do for the kids and what you do for the communities is unbelievable. And uh, I, I I don't understand why uh, you know, you're you're going to be big time. You already are big time, but you're going to even be bigger because of you, you got your perspective right. It's all about the kids. It's all about the, the schools. It's all about their families and friends and uh, communities. And and that's what makes YSN so special uh, because of you, because you're the face of YSN, but also because of what you do for everybody. Thank you. You, you Thank my you. friend, are the best always. So that question was an easy slam dunk for me. So thank you for <laughs> being you. Thank you for spending some time with us. And hopefully uh, moving forward, we might have some some meals in front of us. So hopefully that's a that's a good sign ahead, too. I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, that'll be exciting. That'll be an exciting announcement someday. And, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to that, too. And uh, looking forward to, like I said, spending more time with you, especially one on one uh, person in person, because uh, that that's always a special time. Coach, best of luck this week against Poland. Thank you so much. And again, thank you so much for all you've done. And thank uh, thank Joe Dickey Electric for uh, sponsoring this. Uh, that, that's awesome. And they've always been a huge supporter of South Range football and South the South Range community. And again, you know, thank you, DJ and YSN. I really appreciate it. And go Raiders. <laughs>